Hey everyone, just a quick update on the DIY e-reader project. I've got my hands on one of these very nice M5 paper devices and ported over the code. So if you've got an M5 paper, check out the GitHub link in the description and try it out. As you can see from the back of the device, it's packed full of features. I'm only using a few of them at the moment. It's got a built-in SD card, so we can store a lot of books on the device. On the side, we've also got the jog button. I'm using this for navigating through the list of books. We can go up and down, and to select a book, we just push the jog button in. The device does have a capacitive touchscreen. I'll be adding support for this in the future. The screen seems pretty nice. Images come out with good contrast, and the text is crisp. We can navigate through the book using the up and down button, and we can get back to the main list by pushing the button in. I'm making heavy use of deep sleep, and I need to do some investigation into how well that is working, as the battery does seem to be going down faster than I would expect. This is probably an issue on how I'm interacting with the device, as I have to keep some power running to provide power to the button. I suspect I'm probably keeping something else powered on. Porting the code to this new device was actually fairly straightforward, as I was able to keep all the existing rendering code and treat the new display as a fairly dumb frame buffer renderer. Adding new boards is now as simple as adding a new entry to the platform io.ini and creating a new board definition class in the code. If you're interested in how the code for this project works, then the video that should have appeared on the screen now is definitely worth a watch. If you've got an e-paper display, then the code might already work on your device, so check it out and give it a go.